welcome back to my channel so I filmed this makeup look for you all today if you like it please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel all the products I used in this video will be listed down below in the description bar and if you have any other looks you'd like to see from me please let me know in the comments below and I hope to see you all next time bye guys hi guys so I've already primed my eyes I'm going in with my Huda Beauty rose gold palette um, I'm starting off with a nice neutral brown as the transition colour and really blending that out. I don't know what you want. I'm now taking the shade Henna, which is a really warm brown shade. I kind of wish I didn't do this step. I wanted it to be a more cool toned look. So if you do recreate this look, maybe just stick to more of the cool tone browns. I think it would have looked a lot nicer without this shade. I'm now using the shade Suede and I'm using a smaller brush for this one, something a little bit more precise. I wanted to try to do a little bit of a cut crease uh, for the glitter that's about to go on next. I'm now taking this still a magnificent metal. I can't remember the shade at the top of my head at the moment. Um, it is the darkest one they have though. It's black with silver glitter. I'm just putting that all over my lid and then I'm going to go in with a black and grey eyeshadow mixed together to blend out the edges. You do, I find, have to work a little bit faster with these ones because as you can see, once it dries, it doesn't move very much, so I just had to blend a darker eyeshadow in with that one. With that same black eyeshadow that I just used, I'm trying to create a little bit of a wing with eyeshadow on the corner of my eye. I wanted it to go sort of where my crease is and just blend it out and then I'll get a makeup removal wipe and just make it nice and sharp edge. I'm taking my favourite Huda Beauty Lash Glue and I am applying that to my lashes in, I think they're the style J, um, which are one of my favourite styles from that brand as well. Also the, sh uh, sorry, also the style Sasha. I really like those two, so I'm just applying those. I do find you have to let the glue dry quite a bit before you apply it. I was trying something new on my eyebrows today. I tried using the powder and the pomade, I believe, from Ardell. I do like how they turned out. They look nice and sharp, which is nice for a change. Then I'm using my favourite Nip and Fab Primer and just applying that all over my face. Then I go in with the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eyes in the shade, I believe, a light. I really do find this product conceals all of my dark circles and little veins underneath my eyes. I absolutely love this product. I always apply it with a damp beauty blender. For this look, I wanted a really glamorous look because I was going out this night. Um, I did have some really bad breakouts, so I used my Ben Nye concealer, put that onto my face over the blemishes with a brush and patted it out with my damp beauty blender. Till I get up, time is barely on our side. I don't want to waste what's left. Then I went in with my L'Oreal Infallible Foundation and my Makeup Prepper Foundation, mixed those two together and applied it to my face. This was a while ago now when I did this look. I do really like Nashi Glow at the moment. That's probably my favourite one right now, and I've been using it every day, and I haven't been using any concealers. As usual, I'm using my favourite cream bronzer by Chanel just to warm up the face. Then I'm using the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer just to highlight my face underneath my eyes, Cupid's very chin and my forehead. Oh, 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 oh. 
I'm baking my under eyes with the Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Setting Powder. This is my favourite powder to bake with underneath the eyes. I also use this powder to lightly set the rest of my face as well. I just find if it's a really hot day, um, if I do sweat, it makes my makeup stay on and not slide off. No, I don't want no rest. Echoing around these walls, fighting to create a song. I don't want to miss. I wanted to try a different contouring kit besides the NYX one I usually use, so I'm trying out the Revlon Chloe Morello uh, highlighting and contouring kit. I just used the contour shades from this one. They were okay, they were a little bit warm toned. I do personally prefer the NYX one a lot more, so I'll probably stick with that one still. Um, this one, I don't know, I didn't love it. I'd probably try it a few more times to see if it could work better with a different foundation or something, but it wasn't terrible. It's just not my favourite one. I also tried out something else I wouldn't usually wear in a video, the Huda Beauty 3D Highlighter Palette. Um, I did like the way it looked. The shade Fiji though, as you can see, when I'm putting the cream one on my face, you can't really see it and I did get quite a bit of product. I tried it with a brush as well right now. Um, seashells, that one did work really well. That one came up straight away. I just don't understand the cream one. I tried my finger, a brush, I just couldn't get it to work, but the powder one is a lot nicer. So this is pretty much the finished look. I didn't like the lip shade I chose for this look and I didn't like the eyeshadow I put under my eyes, so I would have kept it a nude lipstick if I could redo it the way it is now. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys like this video. If you do, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. It would mean so much and I hope to see you guys next time.